We've had a very welcome 400 millimetres of rain. It's now seven years since the fire, and four of those years have been drought. In spite of all the green growth, the droughts made many trees either drop their leaves or, or give up. Some have been unable to find enough water to pump up to their tops. So the tops have died back, and as a result, they've lost their apical dominance. Many now have epicormic shoots, just as they did after the fire killed the canopy. The sticky hot bush is invaded and threatens to carry fire into the trees. This is the second time I'm attempting to intervene and prepare for a cool burn. And a helicopter. The flies are particularly bad after rain. The forest itself is, is in a bad state. Unlike the Angophilus, the scribbly gums didn't do well in the fire. The drought has made things worse for them. There are now far few scribbles and far less coordination in the shedding of bark. At this moment the flies aren't too bad, but I do feel like a Victorian lady on a picnic. But I mean, this, this is all pretty voluptuous, these curves, aren't they? Below the ground, strange fungi are appearing. This one is like some kind of vomit, but it's got a soft top that comes away in your fingers. Something I've been meaning to do for quite a while is to put a pipe in here and uh, make a culvert. The impact of big rain is uh, showing, showing where all these culverts need to be so that they don't wash out. It will pretty much involve digging a trench, uh, running, running a pipe in the bottom of the trench and through the, the bit of wall that I've built and probably improving a bit on the wall and then backfilling. A small civility, there's a table for this chair. There's an offcut that'll suit the purpose well. It just needs to be cut to size and have some feet put on it. Solar provides power and hot water in summer. The back veranda includes a basin, a shower and a toilet. This, this is not to mention a wood pile. There are now 1,274 cases of coronavirus confirmed in Australia. Around the country there have already been some major announcements from the states today in a bid to slow down the spread of the virus. Seems to me the ideal place to self-isolate. Yeah. <laughs>